Meditation is not a passive sitting in silence. It is sitting in awareness, free from distractions and realizing the clear understanding that arises from concentration. I would like to read one more. Meditation opens the door between the conscious and the subconscious mind. We meditate to enter the operating system of the subconscious, where all those unwanted habits and behaviors rise, resize, and change them to more productive modes, modes to support us in our life. Joe Dispenza, what is meditation? First of all, before I start the video, I would like to place a disclaimer that everything I share about meditation is my own experience and everything that I have learned about meditating for the last 15 years. And this is my feedback on sharing tips for those that are seeking ways of how to meditate and get the most out of their meditation. I have been meditating for so long that I'm constantly seeking, oh, how can I understand and better yet know myself better? How can I understand why I do the things I do, the mistakes I make, the mistakes I make, and how can I make them less and, and, and correct my behavior? So I said, as I sit down to meditate, my goal is to quiet the mind. So we have to have an intention of focus, the intention of focus on the breath. And when we focus on the breath, then our intentions become so steady that the mind quiets down. In that moment of peaceful attention is when your heart relaxes, you are at peace with yourself. And at that moment, is when you can start seeing in your life what is not working and ask for guidance. Also, meditation is really important. How any spiritual teacher from the had lived have meditated. That's the, the way we need to earn money and get a job, the way we need to have an education so we can reach a career. You need to meditate to have a spiritual guidance. As I silence my mind and I quiet my mind from thinking, I feel that I open that field to receive guidance from heaven, from God. I am a Buddhist, so I feel that that's where I speak to my teachers. I study David Hawkins and Buddhism. As I quiet my mind and I reach these levels of quietness within myself, I feel that's when I speak to them. That's when I get the guidance that I need. How do I reach deeper levels? Is because as I meditate for an hour, I'm not constantly focusing on the, I'm constantly focusing on the silent, but it's hard to reach. So you have to have an intention. And by practice, you will, that space of silence starts growing bigger, bigger, and bigger. Now, what about if there's an, something else that can enhance that dedication? Well, um, a company called Muse decided, um, they sent me an email if I wanted to collaborate. They would send me um, a Muse a sensor or how can I enhance my meditation? I got the sensor and I decided to receive the sensor and I'm going to give my personal, what I learned from it, um, if I recommend it or not, and um, let's get to it. This is a must for me already. I'm going to tell you right now. This is a must have if you meditate because it's going to enhance your meditation to a third degree because whenever we have problems, I remember a teacher saying one time, no problem is a big problem if you break it into little pieces, right? So if I want to understand myself, what I do is I break into all my problems into little pieces. 
So in my meditation, what I want to know is how can I meditate and what is the result? What am I doing when I'm meditating? What are what I'm actually accomplishing besides the satisfaction of being silent? But I want to know that. What is that? Where is that going? Where? How can I get data about what I'm doing? Let's get to the app. This machine comes, the Muse, it comes in two packages. This beautiful presentation they sent to me. Here we have the sensor, which I personally thought that it was going just to read my mind or to understand my brain just through this sensor, which I was wrong. In this back you have in this box you have the sensor and the charger. In this box you have the headband, which totally blew my mind once I connected it to the app. Because once the sen the sensor is connected, it locks here. And once it locks, you turn it on and it connects to the app. I will show you that. But once it connects to the app, all these are also sensor. And I will explain to you how they work. Now I'm going to show you what is the, the beauty of this app, you know? And um, once you open the app, Right, you're going to see the connections that are going to be right. Once I turn off the comp the sensor, it's turned down right now. So now you see up here, up here you see the connection where the battery is. Once it's connected, then remember those sensor that I told you I was going to explain how to use and what they mean is right here. Once you choose a meditation, it's going to tap into, well, that's, this brings me to one of the things I do not like about it. One of the things I do not like about this um, app, because I feel it's for beginnings, for beginner stages, you know what I mean? If you just started meditating and you're just trying to start. Me personally, I meditate for 40 minutes to an hour. So if you give me Let's say 10 minutes. If you give me 10 minutes and 54 seconds, it's just like opening a bag of potato chips and just giving me a chip. It's going to leave me with all the desire to keep doing it. So that's one of the things. And you can see that they all are like 10, 15 minutes, which for anyone that is starting, this is good. For me, I don't do it. So I'm looking for them, you see, and most of them are only that but let's find out let's find one that i did this one 21 minutes 42 minutes right so when you click on the one you choose to do which is already connected here let's say i want to do open mind scan you see these are the sensors right and now i'm going to put it in my head and the magic happens look how it detects and it recognizes all of them to the left, to the right, to my, and it also detects my heart. This is just amazing. And then it takes you to that meditation. I'm going to end this. To this practice of the body scan. Please find a posture for yourself lying on the floor if that is appropriate for your body in this moment. I'm going to end this session because this is what I did. And then at the end, you can say if you want, were very relaxed, then you see and you submit for the results. Now, one important step is that if you're not interested of saving of meditation, you have to come over here and you have to delete it. Because I found out that once you save it, you cannot delete. You cannot delete the, um, 
you cannot delete it after you save it. So you have to make sure that after you study, after you meditate it, if you want to save it, then it's up to you. Now, what I want to show you is the results, right? This is me. I received this sensor on the, I started using it on the 10th, right? You can see 40 minutes, 50 minutes, right? So let's get into it because let's see what those sensors do. And let's look at the history. This is my history since I got it. Let me see if it goes back all the way to the beginning. Let's go to one that has a lot of details so I can explain to you. Here. Here is telling me that I was calm. Another thing is the sensors are so sensitive that I know I did not move and I stayed still because I'm sitting in a parallel in a sitting position. But it's still good because he says over here, over here, that I was calm, right? And this area was all calm. But you know what that is? The ones that I went above it is they are so sensitive that they are also detecting my stomach breathing in and out, and it's catching that as movement, which it's okay. I don't. I accept it. But here comes the stillness, right? How relaxed was I the whole time? This takes time. I'm not bragging on my skills, but I'm just letting you know this just comes with the years of experience. Now, what is the purpose of this? The purpose of this, of how good you know you're doing is how low can you make your heart rate go, right? And on each meditation, I try to bring my heart rate to as low as possible. It's starting, doesn't say when I started, but I brought it at 84, but then over here, I brought it at 70. I would like to show you another one that I think I did really, really good. And I think this was yesterday. Yesterday, I was still relaxed for 37 minutes. I was calm for half of the time because that's my stomach. I'm, I'm, I'm not counting that. I, I did stay still, but look at this. 83 and I brought it to 65. That's how you keep your heart rate at a low pace when you are concentrating in your breathing. This is, comes from here. This comes from your, your heart rate goal comes from the dedication to hold your breath. The longer you hold your breath, the longer you hold your breath as you breathe in and as you breathe out, that relaxes the body. The more you concentrate on that process, the lower your heart rate goes. And that's how you know that you are getting advancing. That's how you know you're getting further in your own dedication. Let's look at another one. Today, I just did it today. Right? So let's look at this one because I want to show you something else. You see all these yellow and all these blue? All these yellows and all these blue on the bottom are 5, 16, 27. Each time you were actually concentrating on breathing in and breathing out whenever you pause that it doesn't that you lose control it doesn't show anything because you're not so they reward you for even con controlling your breath this is just an abundance of information that can help you in your spiritual guidance now let's go back I wanted to make another short video because I forgot some important information. And what I wanted to show you is that you can have guided meditations, guided courses, my library, but here it is. In case you have your own meditation practices in your library of your phone that you want to use for it, then you can just use this as a biofeedback to sense everything that is happening. You see? while it's sensing everything that is happening and then you can just play your music on the side. 
There goes sensing. Because these steps, I wonder many people might, anybody that meditates is going to want to know how can I meditate to my music, you know? So once he senses it and he connects, then you can just put it aside, let it keep playing, you see? And then you go back to your meditation and you play your meditation and you can go from there. This is how you play. This is how you can use it. This is how you can use it while playing your own music. So now um, I want to say thank you for watching the video. And also um, the company Muse, they told me that if I, um, there's a link, if you want to purchase the Muse, there's a link in the details of this video. And if you use the code under it with my name on it, you're going to get a discount. So everybody wins. Now at the end of this video, do you ask me, do I recommend it? I strongly recommend it now because now it has helped me with my own dedication for spirituality. Why? Because now I'm getting all the data and my goal is to lower my heart rate. How does it function? How do you speak to your gods? How do you speak to your other side so you can get guidance? You lower, you concentrate on lowering your heart rate by focusing on your breath. The more you focus on your breath, the more you silence the mind. The more you silence the mind, the more you are open for knowledge and wisdom. So you see, these the three aligned, the three steps being aligned, which create higher understandings and a higher consciousness. So also they send you emails. So today I received an email that I have meditated for like 849 hours, which equals to 849 minutes, which equals to like in seven hours or 14 hours, meaning that I meditated an hour a day, which I decided to try the app for two weeks before I made the video. Perfect. So that tells me that even though you miss a day when you meditate, Anybody has their own goals to me it's an hour a day, which tells me that I'm in my process or my own evolution. Thank you all for watching. If you're interested, follow the link below. I strongly recommend for everyone to get this app and to get this sensor because it's going to increase your dedication to know yourself. I see you in the next one.